Hello YouTube and welcome to your seventh Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we will be continuing our math class um, lesson. And I'm um, sorry if you don't like this slideshow, but you're just going to have to deal with it for the next couple tutorials because um, everything's already done here. I just have to help explain it to you. And um, this really helped me a lot. And uh, it helped me better than it would if I was watching somebody type it out. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we're going to talk about method arguments or parameters, which is the things that go inside the little parentheses um, after your method. So if you have like main and it's got those parentheses and it says string args inside, those are the arguments or parameters, whatever you want to call them. And um, that information it, it's in Java, it's called is being passed to the method um, so that the method can use it. Uh, if you don't pass it, then the method can't use it. Like, if you call the square root method inside the math class, for example, and um, you don't pass the variable, then the the square root method has no idea what to do because it wasn't passed a variable, so it's freaking out. Um, so it says here, parameters are placed between parentheses immediately the following the method identifier, which you should know, because um, I just explained it. But um, parameters can be constants, variables, expressions, or they can be method. So methods. So um, parameters can be constants. So basically, what a constant is, um, it's the same as what I call an absolute string. A constant um, is just a number or a, a type, a data type that isn't stored. So if you just type math dot, for example, if you just type math dot square root and put a six inside of it, then it's going to find the square root of six, even though you haven't stored six in any kind of variable. Um, it can also be a variable inside that, which, you, as you saw in the last tutorial, uh, that's what I used. Well, I didn't use it; it was in the slideshow. Um, expressions, or they can be methods, and you, you saw that um, in the last tutorial. It uses n1 plus n2, which is an expression. Or they can be methods, which also you saw in the last tutorial, if you don't remember, um, math.square root, and inside of that it says math.square root 256. So these are all uh, examples of what you can put inside of uh, arguments or parameters. Um, and then down here it says the only requirement is that the correct data type value is pat passed to the method, which I told you in the last tutorial. In other words, math.square root can compute the square root of x. Um, if it is any correct number, but if x equals aardvark, then it won't work. So um, here we have floor.seal, which we used in the last tutorial. And now we're going to be moving on to max and min arguments. Um, so math.max, what it does is um, it gives you the largest value of whatever you put inside of your arguments. Uh, in this case, we have two. Um, and math.min returns the smallest value of the two arguments. So um, you can see system.out.print line math.max 100-200. So this is showing you what you're calling so you know what's going on. And it's going to give you 200. And in here, it'll give you negative 10. Uh, here, it'll give you 500. And then here, on min, it'll give you 100, negative 20, and 500 and you can see it's right there and um, I'm not sure about this uh, well this right here what I have on the screen is fine but um, I may have uh, discussed this in the last tutorial but um, I'm not I don't really remember so um, whatever just moving on um, here we have the math.abs method and the math.pow method so basically math.abs returns the absolute value of the argument so if you put a negative number in there, it's going to just take out the negative and um, leave it uh, the same number without the negative. And uh, if you put a positive number in there, it's just going to leave it the same. So um, basically, it's just what absolute value means, if you don't remember from your math classes, is that that's how many numbers aw away from zero it is. So if you have a zero on a number line and you go negative 25, it's still going to be 25 away from 0 like 25 like positive 25 is so that's what the absolute value is and math.pow um, returns the first argument raised to the power of the second argument 
So um, with math.pal34, it's going to take 3 and go to the 4th power. So it's going to be 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3, which is 27, times 3, which is um, 81, I think. So um, those are two other things that you can use. And you can see right here, it shows it a bunch of times, so you can kind of wrap your head around it. And when you run it, if you have typed this code out, you should get results like this. So uh, let's see what comes next. Okay, so um, this is probably going to be the last thing in the tutorial, um, depending on whether something else comes next after this from the math. Oh, sorry about that. Rendering out a video. But um, in the math class, they also have built in a pi method and the e method. And basically what pi is is 3.14159, da-da-da-da-da, all that other stuff. Um, so you don't actually have to type in that whole number. Um, and it'll give you a very precise calculation if you use the math.py instead of just 3.14. And um, you notice that there are no parameters after math.py, um, which uh, means that you can't put a number in there. It's just um, they're not methods. Sorry. I don't know why I said that earlier, but they're m not methods. It's just um, something in the math class that um, has been stated so you can use it without having to type it in yourself. So um, math.py and then math.e is equal to two point something. I don't know. I've never used that before. But um, if you know what it means, then you can go ahead and use it in your program. And if you print those out using a print line statement, you'll get something like this. So um, that's the end of this tutorial. Go ahead and go back, look at this code, get familiar with it. Sorry, I kind of started a bit on the last slide because uh, I haven't been over this slide yet. So um, go ahead, practice this, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.